Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Martin with The Contour Chemist. This video is for all of my fellow skincare lovers. More specifically, if you love K-beauty products, because I do. So I figured, let's do a haul. I ordered a bunch of stuff. I'd say like around 20 items. It finally got here have not even unpackaged it yet. And so I'm gonna show you guys what I got and why. And we're just gonna test out some stuff and talk about skincare. So if you wanna check it out, please keep watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for being here. Okay, friends, I'm excited. Let me tell you, I've been dying to open up this box, but I haven't. I've been waiting so I can film and kind of show you guys what all I got. Um, this video is not sponsored in any way, not gifted. I ordered this entire thing from Stylevana, um, but I'm not associated with them in any way. I spent my own money. I just really love K-Beauty products, and I wanted to make sure I legit was getting real stuff. I don't know. Amazon does not have all real products. Some of my favorite sunscreens of all time are straight up from Korea, and Amazon has a lot of fakes. So definitely be careful when you're shopping on there. Just because you search for the name and it pops up doesn't mean it's real unless you see the store name is from that brand. There are some brands that are on Amazon, like Beauty of Joseon. I love their stuff. Their sunscreens are not on Amazon though. So um, you can get some of their products, but not all of them. So I was playing it safe. I was like, I know I wanna try a lot of goodies. So I ordered it all straight from Korea. <laughs> I opened the box because I was like, where is this from? Like no idea where it was from. I didn't know what it was. And then I was like, I peeked and I was like, oh my gosh, finally my order is here. So just a heads up, I ordered this box February 12th. I had to look, February 12th. It did not ship until March 4th. Um, it took a while, it took a while to get here. I can't even remember when it got here, but um, I have only had it maybe a week or two. If that tells you anything, like if you're gonna order something like this, it's not gonna be fast. So that's why I wanted to stock up. And that's what I did. Mostly because I am going to Mexico and I needed to restock my sunscreen. So I ordered a lot. Let's get into it, shall we? I'm gonna show you guys as I open stuff. Um, let's start with sunscreen. So if you don't know, there's a reason why Korean sunscreens are far better than Americans. Amer U.S. sunscreens, unfortunately, are just so far behind. So if you don't know, the biggest difference is because U.S. packages sunscreens and it's labeled as a drug. Okay, so there's far stricter regulations. Uh, don't tell me U.S. doesn't have strict regulations. They do. In Korea and mostly other places in Europe, it is not regulated as a drug. It's regulated as a cosmetic. Far, far different. Okay. So in Korea, they have a lot of very nice, more advanced sunscreen filters that have not hit the U.S. The U.S. has not approved a new sunscreen filter for over 20 years. So we're kind of in the dark ages over here. <laughs> That's why you see a lot of tinted, a lot of mineral trying to cover up the white cast. Korean sunscreens are far superior. So, ooh, I got some free samples. Okay, let's see if I can dig out the sunscreens first. Guys, I got a lot of stuff. Where Where's the sunscreen? Holy moly. It's all in here because I didn't check. I'm assuming. Aha. I have shared this one before, so I will link my other K-Beauty videos I've done. This one was a restock. 
Can you guys tell? My favorite ingredient ever. This is the Skin 1004. Oh man, I didn't even think that this stuff is gonna be like, I'm gonna have to like get out the scissors. This is Skin 1004. This is the Madagascar Centella Hyalucica Water Fit Sun Serum. SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. That's good, that means it's broad spectrum. This one I have shared before. I wore this on my last vacation on repeat. So I wanted to show you guys each one, the textures, and kind of what I would recommend them for. Obviously, as I test them more, I can tell you more. I love the pump top on this. There's a reason why these are so good. They are so hydrating, and they go on like a serum or a moisturizer, depending on the formulation. So I can tell you, because I've worn this one many, many times, it is very hydrating. It, to me, reminds me more of like a serum. I mean, I guess that's why it's called <laughs> sun serum. It is super hydrating. So it has Centella. If you guys don't know, one of my favorites in the world. It is extremely reparative, it builds collagen, it soothes your skin, your redness. If you have rosacea, like me, when I get out in the sun, that is when you'll see my rosacea flare up. And it's not to do with sun, it has to do with the heat. Um, heat is extremely reactive for my skin. So my hyperpigmentation and rosacea flare up as soon as it gets hot outside. Can't wait for that. So that's why in winter it's very under control and I am just very, very diligent about my sunscreen in the summer to try to keep that at bay. But I love Centella, it's got green tea, niacinamide, vitamin E, it's not greasy, doesn't sting your eyes. Curry's trying to get the cabinet open. Now it does have Tinosorb, which is one of the filters from Korea in it which can give a white cast just for like a few minutes until it fully absorbs. And so you'll see that in a lot of Korean skincare um, in their um, sunscreens, I mean, and it might give a white cast for just a few minutes and then it will go away. Um, that is because that Tinosorb is, have, has a slight white, white cast. So this one is formulated. It's supposed to give a satin finish. I feel like it's very hydrating. It gives me the kind of finish I like to my skin. Um, I would say if you live in a very, very super humid climate, it might be a little bit too dewy for you, or if you have oily skin, you might wanna skip this one. I love this one. I will say all of the sunscreens I grabbed are all technically like viral sunscreens when it comes to on TikTok and Instagram. They're all like their most popular. Um, and some of them I have tried, some of them I haven't tried, but they're all very popular for a reason. And that's usually because they're very weightless. The one I'm the most excited about trying because this is like the number one selling sunscreen in Korea right now, and I hadn't tried it yet, is the Round Lab Birch juice moisturizing sunscreen. Um, good, there's part of it is still in English. Most of it's in Korean, but some of it's in, in English. So this one is, let's see, SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus, which is the same as the first okay, one. So in Korea, birch juice, if you see that in a product, that is known to be an anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and to hydrate the skin. But this is also a hydrating hyaluronic acid, allotonin, niacinamide. They really do love to pack their sunscreen with a lot of great skincare ingredients. Now, when I was looking up reviews before I purchased all of these, it's funny to me how like differently some of these, some people say, oh, this one's got a dewy finish. No, this one's more drying. So I'll be interested to kind of test this a little bit more. Um, some people say this is extremely hydrating and then some people say, no, this one isn't compared to some of the other ones I'm going to show you. So let's just test it out. Okay. You can tell this one had a little bit more of a white cast, I feel like, than the last one, but see how it just kind of disappears. Now these have like all the same filters. So they're very, very similar. I'd say all of these are just a little bit different. 
Um, this one is supposed to be best for oily or acne prone skin. I feel like it is drying down a little bit more. And I've seen so many people rave about how this also can replace your moisturizer. Um, I guess it completely depends on your skin type. I can tell that this one is drying down more so than the first Probably one. why this is better for more oily skin types. Definitely gonna have to test that more. I'm excited to try it out on actual vacation. I feel like that is the true test when you're <laughs> really in the sun all day. Another restock, and again, because I looked on Amazon. I originally bought this, I think, maybe I didn't. Maybe I did buy it from Stylevana the first time too. Um, but if it used to be on Amazon, it's not anymore. And Beauty of Joe's does have a storefront on Amazon. You can get some of their products. You can't get all of them though because they have quite a bit um, in their product line. You'll see I grabbed quite a few things because everything I've tried from them thus far, I've loved. I mean, I really like the brand. So this is a restock of, again, a viral cult favorite. M most people say that this is their like holy grail sunscreen. Most everyone that has reviewed all of these all go back to this one. Um, although this is the number one top seller. So again, but when it comes to a lot of like people here in the US wanting a sunscreen, I feel like most people go for this so, one. So this one also has niacinamide, all the same filters. It has glycerin in it. Um, people say that this is more moisturizing than this round lab one. It also has that rice, which I've got some other stuff with rice extracts in it as well, which is an anti-inflammatory. It's supposed to help hyperpigmentation, which we all need, know I need. It's got probiotics, so it's anti-acne and helps your barrier as well. Niacinamide, green tea, vitamin E. Again, like I said, a lot of the same ingredients in this one. And since I was out of my other one, let's see, where can we put this bad boy? I love this sunscreen. Again, mo like none of these have any fragrance. They're all just so lightweight. They all absorb so quickly. They're just so good. This is why it is so hard to wear anything else. So when I'm on vacation, I'll be honest, I don't wear makeup when I'm at the beach. So, I mean, occasionally I do, but these are the sunscreens I pack when I know I'm going to be applying sunscreen every two hours all day by the pool or at the beach. If I'm not wearing any makeup, I want something that is not gonna cause me to break out when I am actually reapplying like I'm supposed to because I'm in constant sun exposure. So these, I feel like the ones at least I've tried, which are both of these, I've worn on repeat for vacations and I don't get that dreaded like breakout city after being on vacation and reapplying and wearing sunscreen like you're supposed to, right? Like on a normal day, I will apply this once if I'm wearing, you know, in the morning with my skincare. If I don't wear makeup and I'm gonna be going out and getting sun exposure again, I will just put one of these back on. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure all of these have silicones in them. This one has the least amount. And so I have worn this under Saint, if you're a Saint user, and it works fine for me, um, but it doesn't work for everybody, just a heads up. Most of theirs, theirs have at least one silicone in it, unfortunately. At least some of this is in English, and I can see, yeah, it has the same um, one as my Super Goop does, which, um, also doesn't give me issues. It's not dimethicone. Dimethicone tends to be the one, if it ends in methicone <laughs> in any way, usually those are the worst under Saint. Um, this is a, oh my gosh, I don't even know if I can pronounce this, polymethyl cysquazine. You get all that? It's a very long one. <laughs> I can put it down here. That is the one that is in this one. Oh, just kidding, I lied. There is one methicone in this as well, farther down in the ingredients list. So 
you can try it. I know I have a lot of clients that still use this under Saint without any issues, but heads up, they all have silicone of some sort. And the next one is another viral one. Let's see if I can find it. It's supposed to be so good and I have not tried it yet. This is the Isentree Hyaluronic, I can't even talk, Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. Again, SPF 50, PA++++. I believe they all have the exact same SPF rating, probably because they all have the same filters. One of the reviewers said that this one is dewier than Beauty of Joseon. So let's see, let's try, let's see. Beauty of Joseon, can you see it over here? Uh, I feel like it's got a pretty natural looking finish there. This one still has a little bit more of a glow. Maybe it's just my hands. I have skincare on my hands, probably not my arms. So again, absorbs right in, goes on like a serum, love it. Uh, this one also has niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, ceramides, centella, and vitamin E. Um, so this one is supposed to be the most hydrating. I'd say Beauty of Joseon is maybe the best for combo skin based on all the reviews. And this one maybe for more dry skin because it does have more of that hyaluronic and ceramides better to replace your moisturizer with. So I'm going to be testing all of these in Mexico and I'll let you guys know if I have a favorite after all of them. Just trying all of them on my arm, it's like they all just seem so similar. Like all weightless, all no white cast, all feel hydrating. Nothing smells like sunscreen or has a scent. They're all so similar. I feel like that is why they're all so viral. They're all popular. And everything I read about like reviews comparing them, they're all just such minuscule differences. They're like, if I had to pick one over the other, this, depending on skin type. So I'll test it more. I feel like I'll be able to tell more so if I can test each one. This is how I would test it. Cleanse my face in the morning apply no, no skincare of any kind and then put it on. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do like half a face and compare each one. And I'll let you guys know what I think, but like, it's so hard to test until you do that. Because like right now I have like, I have my sunscreen on from earlier. Like, I feel like I can't get an accurate test if I put it on my face. So I will test them and let you guys know the result. Oh. I do have one more sunscreen. And this one's different. Ha ha. This is, I don't know how to say this brand. Abib. Hmm? Um, quick Sun Stick. Again, SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. Uh, protection Bar. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with sunscreen sticks. Okay. Hear, hear me out. <laughs> sunscreen sticks. So good in theory. Okay. Um, you can find silicone free sunscreen sticks. I do not see any silicones in this. Lots of great ingredients, glycerin, aloe, centella. So this one, I have more than one and I can't, the other one I think is better for, I think this is the one that is more of a dewy finish and the other one's a matte stick. You guys know me, I don't really like matte look. I want to glow to my skin. So I thought I'd try this one. Now, hear me out. <laughs> I'm not gonna, even though this is silicone free, I'm not gonna use this as my first layer of protection. Um, I like sunscreen sticks purely for reapplication pur pur purposes <laughs> over makeup. I can't get the cap off. <laughs> I think my hands are slightly dewy from, oh, okay. Ooh, so this one's reminds me kind of the Shiseido one. It's very like, jelly like which makes sense look at that like oh maybe this is the natural finish one i'll have to look i couldn't remember which one i got no scent definitely going to be hydrating but i love like let me just show you i love being able to like put this on 
over if I'm wearing makeup or if I'm like, I like to throw this in my purse, like it's almost baseball season. My boys, my daughter play softball. Like I'm gonna be, start going outside more often. Like you can get all the way up to the eye without eye sting. It's got similars that aren't gonna like burn your eye or anything like that. So it definitely, if you want more of a matte finish, I think there's like one that's like um, a tan color. I think this is the doer look. The number of swipes you would have to put on each area of your face to get the amount of sunscreen needed to fully cover is a lot. And so most people realistically, you know, when you have something like this that absorbs really good, it's amazing because you can use the actual amount of sunscreen you need. Um, whereas this is harder to control the amount you're applying. So I like it for a quick reapplication because it's easy and it's not messy. You don't have to like take a sponge and try to like put it on over your makeup. You can just swipe it on over your makeup. It doesn't disturb your makeup in the process. Or if you don't have anything on your face, you can easily reapply with one of these. So this is more of like throw in my bag because it's baseball season. When I'm outside in full like vacation mode, I'm not gonna reapply with one of these. I'm gonna reapply with one of these, okay? So I feel like there's different uses depending on what the application method is. This is not, I don't think, gonna give you proper adequate coverage for a vacation. <laughs> Um, you'll see sunscreen sticks are, it's very hard to get the amount you need to actually give you adequate coverage. Okay. Just a heads up, but that one is supposed to be one of the best. And if it doesn't feel too bad considering I have sunscreen on already <laughs> and it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. So I like. let's go with the easiest things first. Cleansers. I don't feel like there's much to explain, I got a couple of cleansers. This is one of the, I think this is the top selling cleansing oil in Korea, and I just wanted to try it. So this is Softy Mo. Uh, there you go, I'm pretty sure that in says number one or something in Korean. Um, and I've seen this reviewed, oh man, it's completely, oh, just kidding, this is not Korean. I lied. This is made in Japan. Okay, so it's all it's all in Japanese, except for the word Softimo, selected treatment oil, speedy cleansing oil. I've seen this reviewed by people who are like reviewing like all cleansing oils, and this one is always everyone's top pick. And I wanted to see why. I want to see like what's so special about it. And I love a good cleansing oil. So I'm gonna test it. I'll keep you guys updated. And then also, now this one is K-Beauty, I believe. Um, Vanilla Company. I got this pack for me and my daughter to kind of try them all. Aren't they cute? And I figured it would be really easy for me to pack one because they're small. This is the Vanilla Company Clean It Zero Special Kit. And when you order from companies like that, you can get these so much cheaper than you can. Like this this brand is at Ulta, but you can get it way cheaper online from, oh my gosh, they're so cute and tiny. So this has got all four of their cleansing balms. So we have the original, purifying, revitalizing, and nourishing. Not really sure what the difference is. I would have to look at the ingredients. Okay, but I can tell the ingredients are all very different. So the originals for all skin types, it says purifying is for sensitive skin. I should probably give that one to my daughter. Um, revitalizing is for combo skin and then nourishing is for dry skin, which I can tell they have like a lot of added like glycerin and squalane and things like that in that one, just off the top of my head, what I can see. So cool. I wanted to be able to test them all. I've never tried this brand and I've always heard so many good things that people say that this is like their favorite cleansing balm. And again, you can just get like a full size one at Ulta, but I had never seen this cute little variety pack. You guys know I like to test things. If I can get anything in a small size to test before I buy a full size, you better believe I will. And that's one thing I really like about Stelvana. 
there are so many like, like small size sample, like packs for different products where you can like try like a whole set from a whole line. Like if you've never tried like the Centella line that I love so much, there's a lot of like sets and stuff where you can try a bunch of stuff from a line cheaper that you can't find over here. So those are my two cleansers. I got an oil and the ball. Let's go into essences, toners, because that is, I could say, the one area of K-Beauty that does it so much better than Western skincare. Um, Western skincare is getting better. I think they're finally understanding how amazing hydrating essence like toners are not like astringent type stripping toners, like actually moisturizing toners. So if you don't know, I use one every day. It went from like thinking they're unnecessary to now K-Beauty has got me where I, I use one every day. Like it's my, one of my favorite parts of my regimen is using mists and essences. Okay. So I got three, four, I got four, five. Oh gosh. I got, I got a lot to try. Again, I have some favorites in my last video, but um, let's just start with one that's a little bit different. So I got a couple that are exfoliating and a couple that are more like, oh my gosh, brightening, hydrating. Because I do feel like there is a special, like if you're gonna use a toner, make sure you know what it's for and make sure it has a purpose um like gone are the days of just like throwing witch hazel on your face right like make it do something and k-beauty does it so well okay so this brand i uh, you saw my last video i used their toner this is the anua and this uses heart leaf so this is another one this one is a different form pads Heart leaf is known to be an anti-inflammatory and is soothing. Um, but this is a PHA, which I don't know about you guys. I've been testing a lot more acids lately and I find um, my skin just does not like strong acids. When I try to use something with salicylic like more than once a week, my skin retaliates. And if I try to use something with glycolic, too often my skin hates it and I, I I disrupt my barrier and to me my barrier is the most important thing keeping that happy and healthy is what gives me by far the best skin so I've been incorporating more PHAs which are polyhydroxy acids which are the weakest form of AHA to clear out dead skin cells um, and reduce the look of pores so like one of my newest things is I'm like can I get all these sebaceous filaments and clogged pores to just like stay away instead of like getting to the point where I'm having to feel like I'm like trying to manually clear them out, right? So anything that can reduce the look of a pore, of a pores, the appearance of pores, because you can't actually shrink pores, is a win for me. And this also, I love a good pad, a pad moment. Okay, I should have known that would be sealed. So when I'm using something that's an exfoliating, I, I gotta use a pad with it. Like you can't just like splash on a, a, an exfoliating type toner in my opinion. I don't feel like it works as well. And so even if it's in that kind of form, you'll see I'll use like a cotton pad or a reusable washable pad. So I, this, I think this is another viral type product, these type pads, what the heck? How do I open this? <laughs> oh my gosh, too many, too many different things. Okay, let's see if I can finally get this out. Okay, finally, 77, 70, 70, 77% heart leaf extract. And it's got those PHAs. I love these little things. Look at this, comes with a little tweezers so you don't get your grimy little fingers in there. Oh my gosh, they're very saturated, I would say. Dang, and they're good size. 
I hate when you give me a tiny little pad and I can't cover my whole face. So I'm just gonna use it on this side. It probably will take off some of my sunscreen, but these pads are also really cool that you can like, say you have like your rosacea is inflamed. You can take these pads that are super saturated and kind of put one on each cheek or wherever you're maybe inflamed and kind of let it sit there and let your skin like slowly absorb all that goodness. Okay, so definitely gonna be testing those. I like to use something like this in the morning, even if I don't wash my face, like if I just kind of use water and then use something like this to kind of like remove dead skin and also kind of soothe my barrier at the same time. Okay, let's stick with the same type category and go in for a exfoliating toner. So this one is an AHA BHA toner. Now, one thing to note, um, if you don't know, AHA is what kind of like dissolves those bonds between our skin cells. It kind of helps skin cell turnover increase over time. So this is great for acne or if you have, as you age and you just want to reveal more glowing skin underneath. BHAs are the best for acne and congestion on your pores, um, clogged pores, all of those things because it can dissolve oil and get into your pores. Like I said, I'm always looking for a gentle exfoliating acid, um, something that I can use when I'm breaking out, especially, you know, hormonally around that time, that's not going to dry up my skin. Salicylic acid tends to dry me out and um, glycolic acid sometimes is a little bit too much for me too. So I found this one. You guys know how much I love Cause RX, right? Um, they make my snail mucin. So this one is the AHA BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner. Okay, now this isn't a spray. I personally wouldn't spray it all over. I'm going to put it on a cotton round and use it on the places that I need the exfoliation or if I where I need breakout control. Okay, so this does have glycolic, but it is pretty far down on the ingredients list, meaning it's not a strong concentration. Um, and then what I love about this one, it has, let's see if I can say this correctly, betaine salicylate, um, which is like, not the same thing as salicylic acid. Something interesting is that in Korea, they're not able to put salicylic acid except in very small amounts in their products. If you wanna kinda of compare it to salicylic acid, which is the main ingredient you see in Western skincare, um, this BHA is also a BHA, it can also dissolve that oils, but it's twice as gentle. And it actually also acts as a natural moisturizer. And so this one has a few like natural extracts that like salicylic acid comes from willow bark, okay? This has willow bark water. So it has very, very small amounts probably, um, which is what gives it very, very gentle everyday usage, okay? So this is great for a beginner or somebody with sensitive skin. And since I've got some sensitive skin going on, I wanted to try this um, to see if this is sensitive enough for me to kind of help and it's got a great pH level um, so it keeps you balanced at the same time. This one's gonna be much more hydrating than a typical salicylic acid like you'll see over here. Now, those are the only two exfoliating acids. Then we get into more of like our essence waters. Um, okay, this one is very viral. One of their, well, maybe I shouldn't say viral. One of their best selling products um, is this line from Haru Haru Wonder. Um, and it's their black rice line. So K Beauty is kind of known for like fermented extracts. And I've already used the one from Dr. Circle and it is becoming like one of my very favorites. So this is another toner. Um, they have a different, a, a couple different ones that are similar. This one is for sensitive skin, obviously for me. Um, the fermented black rice extracts. They say it restores elasticity. It's an anti-inflammatory. It brightens the skin. It preps the skin to absorb all of your other skincare ingredients better. 
and it's also hydrating. Oh, that's much thicker than I expected. Okay. It's like liquidy yet kind of like in between a liquid and a serum. Interesting. Okay. Excited to try this. Very high in glycerin. I bet you that's why. Glycerin is legit the third ingredient. So glycerin kind of has that um, thicker texture. I bet you that's where it's coming from. I'm very excited to incorporate this in my routine. I love a good essence. So this one's, that one's considered a toner. I swear, the difference between toners and essences over there, I don't really get it. They say essences have more active ingredients. I don't know. This one is called an essence. Actually, it's called essence water. So here's another one from Beauty of Josen. This is their ginseng essence water. It's, I was just asked about ginseng the other day. And it's definitely something I didn't have a lot in my skincare products. I did have a couple of things from K-Beauty that had it in there. But this is one of their most popular products. Can you see the red color? I feel like it doesn't look as red in this light. So this is moisturizing, calms the skin. So it reduces collagen, ginseng also, or sorry, reduces redness increases collagen, which is one of the things that ginseng does. Um, reduces inflammation, improves texture. It's got niacinamide in it to control the sebum production. Um, and it's supposed to balance um, and target breakouts. Maybe I should have opened all this before I started. Very similar to a little bit more watery Ooh, this one definitely has a scent. Now, I don't think it has fragrance. I think it must just be, it must be the ginseng. It smells earthy. This one also has a lot of glycerin, hyaluronic acid. So this one's gonna be super hydrating as well. So excited to test that. I feel like similar to the black rice one, just a little bit different ingredients. So, We'll see if I can tell the difference between the two. Oh. Last toner, I promise. And this one is called a toner, actually. Can you guys tell the difference between essences and toner? I feel like a lot of times, if it's called an essence, it's more hydrating. But, I mean, all of K-Beauty's toners tend to be hydrating toners. They're just not that, like, strong tone. Oh, I remember why I bought this now it's got that milky texture. So right now I've been going back and forth between the Dr. Suracle and the Rode Milky, both of them Milky Essences obsessed with this milky texture. I feel like they're so hydrating. This one is another like viral toner over there. It's called, uh, I'm From is the brand, Rice Toner. Okay, so they say rice is brightening, reduces pigment, it's hydrating, it increases collagen, plumps the skin, targets dull, irritated, and aging skin. And this one actually forms a protective barrier to prevent water loss. So I heard from like reviews of this product that it kind of creates this film and so like, if you use too much of it, it will kind of feel weird, but it is supposed to form a film. That's the barrier that locks in transepidermal water loss. No scent. Super stoked about this one too. I mean, I get so excited about essences and toners. I just love them. I gotta talk faster. I still have a lot of stuff in here, guys. Let's go with some easy stuff. This one's for my daughter, CauseRx again. The best pimple patches ever. Um, they're just hydrocolloidal. Um, and this one, I didn't get her anything that has any actives in it. It's just a hydrocolloid. So what that does is just kind of keeps that uh, moisture in, protects it from outside stuff getting in that broken wound once you have a pimple. These have like 
really thin ones. So you, my daughter sometimes will wear it to school. Um, so I got her a restock of those. You can get these even, I think even Target has this brand now. Some different ones because I hadn't gotten myself new pimple patches in a while. And can you guys guess what ingredient I looked for? I was like, like I have one here has not, it's like dried out, it has not healed. It just is taking so long to go away. And I keep thinking, why don't they put centella in them? <laughs> because centella is, uh, so I haven't even talked about it. If you have not heard me talk about it a million times, centella is the ingredient that is also known as tiger's grass, Sika. It has amazing healing properties. So like when tigers would get injured in the wild, they used to roll around in the grasses of this stuff to heal their wounds. So that's why they call it tiger grass. I notice all of my favorite products that I have when they're, they all have centella in it. And it is the one thing that I feel like keeps my rosacea calm. It's so, it increases collagen, calms my skin and it heals it. So I found one with Sika in it. So I don't know what the name of this is. What company is this? I don't know. VT Cosmetics Pro Sika Centella Asiatica Tiger Clear Spot Patch. Yeah, it pretty much has Centella in it. So if you see, um, I can't say this either, Mad Madazatic Acid, um, that's another way of saying Centella. And so that's like, like one of the other things I just talked about had that in the ingredients and so that's another way of knowing that there's some centella in it like everything there's multiple names you can call stuff so i'm excited to try this um and see if this helps my blemishes clear they look like they're super tiny and thin very thin came with 66 in there super cheap too so this might be my new favorite blemish patch I'm excited. Anything with Centella. So that takes me to this. Can you guys guess why I tried this? So this is my, if you're looking for a Centella product, the Skin 1004, they're kind of known for putting Centella in everything. So like for the longest time, I thought the name of their brand was Madagascar Centella because I didn't even see that they had, this is actually their name me forever so I wanted to try these because um, their ampule is everything to me I use it all the time it heals everything and so this is legit just a sheet mask with their ampule completely saturated I've gone through multiple multiple ampules my daughter uses it I use it it's just so good this is pretty much 51% centella and then it's got glycerin and all kinds of other hydrating agents as well. So super stoked to try this calming and moisturizing. So this is going to be my mask when my skin is inflamed. Maybe, maybe I just uh, dermaplaned my face. That always makes it angry. I'm going to pop one of these bad boys on and that's going to be like my new routine. My free sample is from Round Lab, which is this guy, this brand, and it's a calming Sika ampule. Can you, you think they could tell from my order that I liked Sika and Centella? Maybe, because it's like in half of the product. Here's another one. Okay, so Beauty of Josen, again. Um, I saw this and I just couldn't resist. It was really highly rated. And I have been using more vitamin C derivatives because when my skin is like inflamed or like I said, I just dermaplane my face, I can't use pure vitamin C. Ascorbic acid will burn. My skin is very sensitive. So I thought I love their um, retinol eye cream so much. I was like, what about, do they have a vitamin C? Because I feel like I don't see a lot of vitamin Cs in K-Beauty. Um, and it's because they use a lot of derivatives. So this is their Light On Serum, Centella and Vitamin C. I'm like the best of both worlds. So I did look it up 
and it's got 68% centella in this, and then it has a derivative. So a derivative means when it absorbs in the skin, it's gotta get converted once it's in the skin to ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid is what all the data is on for vitamin C with antioxidant, brightening, all of those things. It's gotta be converted. It's kind of similar to how retinol has to be converted to retinoic acid. So this is 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid. It is a derivative, but derivatives also mean gentler on the skin. So, ooh, it's a nice like serum texture. Oh, yes. It reminds me of, yeah, like the, I, ooh, almost feels like aloe or something, like very, very soothing, probably because it has silicones in it, but... Uh, feels really nice. So I'm going to test that, that baby out. I almost said one last product from Beauty of Josian, but that's not true. I got a couple more. That's how much I like this line. Now, some of these things you can get on Amazon, just FYI, not all. Um, but I have tried their serums before. I had, which one did I have? I believe I had the Glow Serum. And I went through the whole bottle. <laughs> I liked it. I think that was the one I had. But they have four. And so I saw this. Is this not cute? This is called the Henbang Serum Discovery Kit. And it's got all four of their famous serums in little trial sizes. So I thought it would be really good. So that way I could try the other ones. And then whichever one I preferred I could buy full size and then I could give you know one to my daughter if it didn't work for me or something so here's the four we've got revive this is ginseng and snail mucin oh yeah sounds like a good combo so they say this is for skin elasticity then there's the glow deep serum which is rice which we just talked about all those benefits um, an alpha arbutin, which is good for hyperpigmentation. So this is supposed to brighten and moisturize. And so that's good for dark spots. Then we have the calming serum, obviously, green tea and panthenol. So this is for sensitive skin, calm redness, all that jazz. And then just the regular glow serum. I think this is the one I had, Prop propolis and niacinamide. So this is supposed to reduce the appearance of pores and give your skin more of a glow. That's the one I think I went through the whole bottle and it's really good. I really like that propolis, which is another great K-beauty ingredient. I don't know what that means. A small journey to finding your finest henbang. Anyone who lives in Korea, tell me what that means. I don't know, but I love your stuff. So that... BOJ is oh gosh so good so that's why I grabbed this as well if you don't know I've been using cure which is the natural aqua peeling gel which is a Japanese brand I mean I can't even tell you six years maybe it's a holy grail of mine but peeling gels are not there's not just one there's many and when I saw they have one I had to try it. So this is Apricot Blossom Peeling, Je Peeling Gel. It says this is an exfoliator with a very soft gommage texture. So if you see the word gommage, that means that it's going to ball up um, and it's gonna kind of roll up those dead skin cells with so, it. When you see a gommage as a description, th it's this type of product. And I'll be honest, I've never used anything other than Cure. And so I really wanted to see if there was anything better. And this one also had a lot of um, hydrating and exfoliating. This is this one is plant-derived cellulose that gives it that texture and exfoliating power. Now, the reason I like these gommage peeling gels is because I do have sensitive skin. My skin hates anything gritty, any kind of balls where I, it like takes physical exfoliation to my face. That's what inflames my rosacea. It makes my skin hate life, right? So 
The peeling gel I use every three days. I've used Cure every three days for years. I wanted to see if anything worked the same. Um, so I just kind of wanted to test it. So I'm gonna try that one for you guys. And then we're down to one. I think this is the last one, guys. Have I shared everything? I can't even remember. So this is a mask. I got the sheet masks. Like, no, I'm gonna love sheet masks. But one thing, I, I must have been in an exfoliating mood when I placed this order because I'm like, okay, that or my pores must have been like really congested at the time back in February. It's very possible. I've been testing a lot of exfoliating pro products lately, a lot of BHAs and whatnot. So this one is was one of their top sellers from 2023 and... I'm a sucker when I find out that something is super popular. I want to know why. I want to know why someone loves it. And so I wanted to see if this can really do what it says it does. This is another one by Isentry. And this is the Mugwort Calming Clay Mask. So you see a lot of mugwort also as an ingredient in K-Beauty, which is supposed to be a soothing ingredient, very calming. So I usually do not like clay masks on myself. I do not have oily skin. I get very dried out with clay. And um, every time I have a breakout and I wanna to try to like suck all those impurities out, my skin gets so dry. This one is supposed to be calming and non-stripping. So I thought, let's try it. So this is, um, Calming Clay Mask has six types of clay, non-stripping, and it's supposed to clear your sebum and your pores. So I'm gonna test this mostly on my nose and my chin, and it, we're gonna see. Let's see what kind of texture it has. Ooh, so definitely clay. All right, got some kind of particles in it. it smells almost minty esque so I'm gonna see if that can clear my pores like it says it does a soft clay formula which contains real mugwort extract and leaf powder to reduce excess sebum I feel like we're getting into summer it will be here soon before we know it and that's when people's oil production ramps up, right? I know mine does, and I normally have very normal skin, but my nose likes to get oily um, if I don't take care of it. So we're gonna see if this works and doesn't dry me out, cause me flakiness. We're gonna see what this mugwort is all about. Okay, whew, those, that was a lot. That was a lot of products. That was more than I, that was longer than I expected. But y'all know me, I love my skincare. I love some K-Beauty. So I'm curious, what products are you most interested in hearing more about? What would you like to see? Are these videos helpful at all? Hearing more about what ingredients and... Or would you guys rather just wait until I've tested them all and then I come back and review each one? <laughs> I'll be honest, it is gonna take me a while to be able to fully accurately test all of these products, which is why I didn't want to wait. I know it's almost fully sunscreen season. And so if you need to stock up, now is the time to place your orders so you're ready for summer. And all my fellow K-Beauty fans, let me know. Like, I feel like I've seen things since placing my order that I'm like, oh, I should have bought that. I want to try that too. And I hate waiting so long for shipping, but Drop in the comments below if you have any K-Beauty favorites that I must try, um, let me know what it is because I have a feeling it's going to be sooner than, rather than later that I'm going to place another order and get more goodies because I'm telling you, every K-Beauty product I try becomes a favorite so quickly. Let me know in the comments what do you want to see next and thank you guys so much for being here and watching. I'll see you next week. Love you.